I've, uh, I've got me um I've got me Prince T-shirt on for you. Oh my god! What a legend! <laughs> I was I've, getting, just, I got in, I've just been watching I've, Prince videos. <laughs> I got in from work before and I'm like, I need to get changed. I can't go on camera with this horrible work stuff on. So like, what can I put on? I was like, ah, put that on for Paul. Uh-oh. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially <big>. for Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what reminded me to mention oh, it, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Twinning. <laughs> so how have you been? How have you, since we last spoke to you, how have you been? When did we last speak? Was it oh, ages ago? I think it was lockdown, wasn't it? Like it was during lock- like the summer. Lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah. What, yeah cra- so. what crazy lockdown? Not yeah, crazy. I think, so. think we just come out of crazy lockdown, haven't we? It's like July oh. time, was it? July this year? No, last I mean, year. Last year. I'm well, in the middle now. of crazy lockdown, yeah. So since then, oh my god, we've had <laughs> we've done a few Zoom concerts, me and the guys. Um, we've done a whole. Obviously, the Christmas and the birthdays and all that stuff. <laughs> then we were just um, getting ready to get back into it. We've just done like the first load of work forever, like um, which was a boy. We did a few gigs in Denmark, which had been obviously rescheduled. Everything has been rescheduled, and um, that was the first time I saw everyone, which was absolutely crazy. Obviously, we'd, we'd, we'd spoken. On yeah. you know like video calls and Zoom meetings yeah. and everything, but it was amazing to see everyone again. We've just done the boys oh. back tour, just finished the boys back tour, which was rescheduled, and um, yeah, so we've done all that, and we've um, tried to do some work on our album, which has been so difficult. <laughs> you just touched that. on like <laughs> obviously, you've, oh, so you've touched on that you've just had to postpone the um the tour dates unfortunately after waiting so long to actually get back on the road so I know you've you've just mentioned that you're going to be in the um studio working on the new album yeah do you think with the new tour you'll incorporate some of those new songs or that will it just be yeah sorry sorry carry on sorry. no it's okay it's just saying would it be a continuation of what you've already done or will it be incorporating that new new stuff see that was the fear that's um when we we, we, we had these dates and we hardly any time together. We didn't want to rehash something we've already done. Like a concert yeah. we've done. Oh, let's just use those tracks. Let's use those ideas. And because they will, our fans have already seen that. And obviously, we wanted to get as many songs as we could for the album ready. See which yeah. ones we wanted to use. How we wanted to perform them. So yeah, I mean that that that's the plan. We've not had time to execute that plan. <laughs> um, was to get as many songs as we could together how we're going to perform them, what songs we're going to use. We've got, we've got so much material for the new album. Yeah. But it's not even been fully produced yet or not had all the vocals put on them or anything. It's, it's, been, it's been difficult the last few months. We've been just, oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> I can't wait hate to hear the new stuff. Oh, I can't wait for you to hear it. Well, <laughs> well the, the, the new song, Spiders, is obviously out now, which we yes. both, Kelly and I, love. It's a fantastic track. Oh, do you? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah we it's do. A, it's a great song. It's very A1. Like, it's, you, you haven't you haven't moved yeah. away too much from your sound, which is a good thing, you know. So it's nice to do new things, but th- this is very much an A1 song, so it's, it's great. Yeah, we, we feel that too. Thank you. Um, that's, so my first question is actually off a friend of mine, Donna, who's a big fan of yours. She wants to know um, what the creative process was for that track. The spiders. Um, the creative process started with Ben and Christian. We were on the first load of Boys Are Back tours. It was about a year and a half, two years ago. I don't even know when it was. It was before the <laughs> it was actually yeah. before the it's probably about January of whatever year that was. I don't even know. 2019. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's all just <laughs> mushed into one. Before the pandemic, the January yeah. before the pandemic. And um, what we were doing on that tour was um, Ben, um, I was riding with Ben in his car and Christian was mostly riding with Mark. But this time I had my car. We had a little break from the tour. I picked my car up and Ben picked Christian up from the airport or wherever they were. And then um, they're riding together. What Ben likes to do whenever he's traveling is he knocks together a track, um, just a rough track and puts it on in his car. And while you're driving with him, he just, Knock about <laughs> ideas and write a song. And that's what they did that day. They wrote Spiders in about probably oh, wow. hours. That's they fantastic. Got the, they got the first um, <laughs> verse and the chorus, and then um, me and Mark were like, "We want to be part of that shit." So, <laughs> so we we just um, 
knocked up a little like a makeshift studio in one of the hotel rooms and did all the rest there. I love that. That's quite That's a fun fantastic. way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're really happy. We're happy we can be productive on the road and we try to do as much as much work as possible when we are together. That's good. Yeah. Oh, we loved it. As soon as I heard that song, I was like, that's brilliant. I, I love that song. <laughs> I, I just loved it. I, we, what we want, want to drive this out, as you've seen with the um, the the artwork for the tour, it's like a, um, yeah. an arcade game. An arcade yeah. Game. Kind of go 80s-esque on the whole vibe of the album. <laughs> oh, nice. That, yeah. Well, that's, that's very in at yes. the moment, isn't it? Yeah. I think that song captures that kind of moment for us. So we really, really like that as an idea. Yeah, it's great. So as far as the album goes, like how far, like percentage wise, are you like finishing it? Um, song wise, I think we've probably got eighty percent. Okay. Um, as far as getting recordings done, record recording done. I mean, we've got eighty percent of demos, but out of that eighty percent of demos, there's probably thirty percent of vocals we're going to keep because sometimes it's just one person sending a demo in, so the other people have to record in it, have to record our harmonies and extra vocals and then we have to produce it and then we have to get it mastered there's so much work to be done in those songs but um we're, yeah. we're quite confident that in the next maybe i say five or six months we can get it all into a nice package for everyone brilliant can't wait can't wait to listen <laughs> to it i don't know whether it's because of social media and we see it more but you guys seem to be having way more fun um <laughs> together it's it comes across that way anyway yeah. um i just wonder how it differs from before to now being back with the guys before lockdown or before... No, previously when you were um in the band originally um to now oh like our first time together to now yeah yeah, yeah. oh it's so much more fun now because that we haven't got any pressure on us uh like from from a corporate angle we've got yeah we haven't got people saying this is a chart position we need. We're giving you this much money for that. This is your deal. This is that deal. There's lawyers and managers all arguing all together. We haven't got that anymore. Because, you did it for yourselves, uh, for like for fun. Because, because kind of social thing. media and the internet has taken a load of weight off everyone. So you can be as productive as you want. You can put out what you want. Any content you want to put out, you can put out yourselves. Yeah. But we're very lucky in 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 A1 that we have Mark who's who makes his videos and graphics are amazing. So we can do all our own videos and graphics. Ben, Christian and Mark are all, they're just amazing maestro producers. They produce amazing songs. They don't need yeah. any work to them. So we're really lucky. It's good that we can actually see that though. You enjoy yourself. Even like to, I was saying to Gavin about Mark's little man cave that someone was putting on a video. I was yes. like, that's your idea of heaven. Amazing. Like all the figures. Oh yeah. You oh. would love that. And it's just nice to see you interacting yeah. so much yeah, more. Well, we, knew, we knew it existed. <laughs> it's another <laughs> level that. <laughs> and I've been there before at Mark's house during lockdown. We were recording something for a show. It was like a, a private online show for a company in Asia. And he said, come up to the room. We didn't have time. I'd never went up there. So this time we went there and we went up there and it's... <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. He's got, an, he's got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade game there and everything. Yeah, yeah you were playing but it. He's, because he's, he's, like, he's a total like nerd. He's, he's, a, he's like a proper nerd. <laughs> like, Self-confessed nerd. But his nerdiness, when you see it, it's incredible. It's, like, it's quite the collection, it. isn't it? It's yeah. Like, <laughs> Ben was like, I can't believe you got this. I remember this when I was like six or seven or something. <laughs> but going back to what you said, which I, I, I glanced upon, is um, we have so much more fun now. Yes, of course we do. We're older. There's no pressure. We've all grown yeah. up. We've all gone through whatever growing up we had to do. And um, we're all really happy within ourselves. So when we get together, it's just, it's just the boys together. It's brilliant. Yeah. And you kind of touched on it before, uh, you know, about the tour and stuff, but, like, what's that been like, like, getting back out on stage again after, like, so long? Especially with these other bands as well, like, Five. Like, what's, what's it like being on tour with all those guys? Well, for me, it's, it's amazing to be, obviously, back with A1 and to be on a tour like the boys are back. It's, um, it's a very, it's like, I was thinking, I was talking to my partner, Natalie, the other day about... Well, boy band is quite a big thing, 
yeah. British boy band is like it's a small thing that it's like it's only got a small history and you can name all the bands <laughs> and the band we're performing with we've got Damage, 911 and 5 are like they're, they're gatekeepers for us that they, they did it all before we did it so they yeah. paid they paved the way for us in so to be on a show with them and to be able to just sit and just have a talk with Andre from Damage or Jimmy or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All the classics together. <laughs> they're talking about incredible what they've done. And, you know, we're, we're really grateful to them. And we, we really love sharing, sharing the audience and the stage with them. It's been amazing. Yeah, I've seen videos and like, and my friend Don has been along to some of the shows and stuff and it just, uh, it looks incredible. Obviously, really good. not incredible. able to get there being in Canada, but it just looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, they did a great job. The production team were absolutely amazing and they they slug away and we go on and just we're in the building for like an hour and a half. We go in and get pampered and do our show and then everyone and they make sure you get away all right and them guys are sweating away. You know? <laughs> so the production team and the promotion, they're the guys that made it, man. They they were they were absolutely crazy and the crowd yeah. were amazing. They came out, they they were proving they wanted a good time after what's happened. <laughs> the last year, so. Yeah, I bet. Really good. Awesome. So with the family vlogs, like I I was a big fan of the family vlogs, and you've not done one for a while, so I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm just wondering where you're where you're up to with that. Because I watched I actually watched the vlogs with my kids and my wife. Like we watched the Marathi Diaries. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, good. You know, I've no one's actually asked me about that for so long. <laughs> um, I think we kind of got to the point where it's like, okay, we're back to normal, no more vlogs. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. like, the kids were off school, we wanted to do something to keep us sane, so we could, like, do, while, and the kids were, weren't at school. Yeah. But um, what I want to do, which I've not been asked because I'm lazy, which I wanted <laughs> to do, was, was, the plan for the Nazi Diaries was I wanted to do a, a vlog of a, just a date with A1. So, for example... Oh, that is fun. Yeah, I wanted to do like, a, I've got up and I'm going to travel and then there's the bed, this is the venue and this is the giga. I, I think it deserves that, a behind the scenes whole day with me and the boys and just how everything comes together. That would be great. That would be really, that would be really Yeah, that would be so fun. Yeah. So we feel like you've been on before. We're friends now. <laughs> <laughs> we we can maybe have a little bit of fun and ask you some yeah. random questions. Of course. Of course. I'd love to do that. That's why I'm to here. To know, yeah, to get stupid to know questions. Paul, stupid Paul Marazzi, questions. Yeah, they are. To get to know Paul Marazzi, the man, rather than Paul Marazzi A1. So it's just random. <laughs> It's very random. Okay. Um, <laughs> we use the I'll word man very loosely. I <laughs> I'll start off with a fun one because I know oh, yeah. you like your cooking. And I was watching the show last night with Fred, um, Gino and Gord, and then it really makes me laugh. Yeah, I love so, that. So if you could be sous chef for any one of those, who would it be? <laughs> what, those two? The three, Fred, um, Gino and Gordon. I think it would have to be Gino because he just seems like he'd be less <laughs> difficult on you. <laughs> so I don't know if you know this, but like eight years ago, I was a breakfast chef in a in a in a restaurant in a in a two rosette restaurant in a hotel. Yeah. yeah. And my head chef was he was tough, but he was really really <laughs> nice. So I'd want the least tough. I think Gino would be nice. <laughs> be nice. Be nice. I like Fair him. enough. <laughs> Okay, th this one's a tough question. It's stupid, and you know I apologise for asking it, but we've got to know. If you're stuck on a boat with A1, so all four yes. you're on this boat, and the boat's sinking, yeah. and there's only there's only enough room, <laughs> there's only enough room on a, on a lifeboat for three members of A1. Who's going down with the ship? And you can't pick yourself. <laughs> okay, who's going down with the ship? Yeah, there's only enough room on this little lifeboat for three of you. So oh, what's... who's gonna win in the battle? No, well, who's who's going down? Who's with gonna you? fall on their sword for the band? Three, yeah. yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. And you can't choose yourself. You're already on that boat. <laughs> oh my god, that is a tough <laughs> one. I think if the if the boat represented A1 and everything that A1 stood for, I think Mark would go down with that ship. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> he, 
So what you're saying is you would, you would say to Mark, listen, Mark, I know you, I know you don't want to say it, but you'd pick, you'd choose to stay on the boat. So I'm going to let you stay because you know you would. I think, I think Mark, I think Mark would <laughs> sacrifice himself for the great. selfless Mark. <laughs> what if, what if the boat, what if the sinking boat was like pretty close to Norway to the point where you could swim it if you tried? Yeah. Did you leave Christian on there? If there was a restaurant on the shore, Christian would definitely leave the boat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm still going to go with Mark. <laughs> okay. He, 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 he think, I don't think he'd be like, he's not sinking. No, it's going to be fine. While he was blubbing away with his last breath. <laughs> still think be all right. Optimism, optimism. <laughs> so you've been given a gig to present the Bas- BAFTAs. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, who's going to be the ant to your deck? <laughs> Okay, okay, I see what you're saying here. It'd have to be Ben. Ben. Oh, ben. okay, that's a good joke. Are you talking A1 members here? It could be anybody. It can anyone. be A1 or anyone else. I was going to say my... No, I'd have to say Ben. So everyone else that actually... I can't understand what they're saying when they talk. So <laughs> Ben, yes, definitely. Okay. He's really funny, charismatic, and he's very cheeky as well. So like <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, the next one is, uh, so if you had to watch on repeat for 24-7, so you're stuck in a room, somebody will come and feed you, and you can go to the bathroom. Like Guantanamo and... Bay kind of style. Yeah. Right. You've got to watch on repeat Peppa Pig 24-7. I've just done that or, one day. Or Frozen 2 <laughs> on repeat 24-7 on your own. You've got no one else there to enjoy it with. <laughs> Good. Is there a rope in the room? <laughs> that could be a third option. Okay, There's no ropes. There's no <laughs> rope, ropes at all. It's oh, a padded oh, room oh. with Peppa Pig. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to go Frozen 2. I'll have to go for it just because there's songs in it. There were songs in it. Yeah. And if they were playing, I could just practice singing them whenever they came on. And it's obviously, obviously very small age range more, but it's for slight, it can stretch to slightly older children. Yeah. Maybe 12, 13 yep. years old, <laughs> the, only th- the only thing is with that is it's like it's only one movie, whereas Peppa Pig's many, many episodes. I know, but oh my god. But and the thing with Peppa Pig, <laughs> if you watched that for 24-7, like you couldn't stop watching it, you just watched it, you'd feel terrible as a man because every male <laughs> character in Peppa Pig is useless. He's, he's a total so moron. you'd feel useless when you come <laughs> out of it. Apart from George. And he can't even talk. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Mr. Really? Mr. George has got no idea what's coming to him, has he? Mr. Potato wins sometimes. And <laughs> yeah, he, won, he once won the championship medal for jumping in muddy puddles. That's it. <laughs> uh, I know all this. <laughs> would you so rather... <laughs> would you rather do I'm a celebrity or Strictly Come Dancing? Oh, well, let's look at more difficult dancing on ice. Oh, I was going to pick Strictly then. I going to pick Strictly. No, because I know yeah. you like dancing, so I thought I'd throw a bit, <laughs> a bit of a curveball. I would never do Amos Every in a million years. Not because, it's because I, have so, I snore so loud. I'm a really loud snorer. <laughs> I think I've got sleep apnea and I think I need something happening. I, need, I think I need an operation because it's bad. I wake everyone up. If it was Strictly, I could do Strictly because... My partner is a ballroom dancer. That's what she oh, does. Oh, perfect. So she'd be like, just show me like stuff, you know, not sexual stuff. <laughs> yeah. Dancing stuff. Dancing stuff. Stop. Dancing stuff. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so if you were throwing a dinner party, yeah. what's that What's that TV show called in the UK? That Come Dine With Me is it called? Yeah, Come Dine With okay, Me. Let's say it was that and you could invite... Three celebrities, oh. like or three famous people, dead or alive. <laughs> right. Who would who would you choose? You're cooking for them, and it's three oh. celebrities, <laughs> dead or alive. Or oh. I can't say Prince because he was a vegan. <laughs> um, I'd have to say people who eat lots of meat, I suppose. Dead or alive, right? I'm gonna go for it. I am gonna choose. Richard Pryor. 
Jimi Hendrix. You know what I mean? You might bring a bit. Yeah. <laughs> He's the entertainment. Exactly. <laughs> bring some music. Yeah. And... I'm so you could have you could invite Elvis, but he he he'd eat everything, wouldn't he? Yes, and I'd go fried banana sandwiches. So <laughs> yeah. I'll say George Michael. I'm gonna say George Michael. That's I a good choice. Michael. I don't think he gets mentioned enough. No, he doesn't. He's like a major major icon. I love I love George Michael. Yeah. Oh, what's my next one? If you could pick someone to play you in a movie of your life. Who would it be? <laughs> oh God. Well, it can't be very tall. Will you Meller. can pick whoever you want. You can have whoever you want. He looks a, you your... look a little bit like Will Mallard, don't he? A little bit. He can aim higher than Will Mallard. Oh, oh, no okay. offence to Will Mallard. <laughs> but he looks a bit like him. Less weird face. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, for voice alone, I'll go with Joe Pasquale. This whole thing. <laughs> He's a bit old though. <laughs> I've been told we have the same kind of voice. So. He's, he is slightly higher though. He is yeah. slightly higher. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah. Like, really, sometimes I hear myself back talking. I'm like, please work on your voice. Just no, work. because this is he's got like a comical, funny voice. I've never I've never found your voice funny. I, I don't mean that in an offensive way. <laughs> I know, I don't know. Like, like, like if I tried to talk like this, is that, it just sounds stupid, doesn't it? Just, <laughs> it doesn't even sound any deeper. It just sounds me pretending to be deeper. Joe Pasquale, yeah. Me and Joe, baby. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, least favourite A1 song. And favourite, actually. So we'll have a favourite and a least favourite. <laughs> I love how we're adding to these as we go along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should have finished like 10 minutes ago, guys. Right. Now, like, this is a good one. Least favourite A1 song. Oh, my God. How do you do this without hurting anyone's feelings? <laughs> I'm not. I'm really being serious here, guys. My my least favourite A1 song. Oh, my God. There are some really rubbish ones. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Um, I was like one of of the first album. It's like it's really. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to be still around, still around. That's not a bad song. I don't mind that one. Yeah. It's his preference. Doesn't mean it's a bad exactly. song. Exactly. He his likes. Preference. It. I, I don't yeah. know. There we go. Favorite um, favorite song. Yeah, favorite. Okay. All right. Obviously, there's songs that I'm not going to pick because they did well. Okay. You know, I do like. In the middle, this song solid. I'm gonna say, make it through the night. Excellent. It's off, it's off <clears throat> um, make it good. Yes, yeah. it's not a well documented song, but I really I love that song. I think it's lovely. And My oh, wait a minute, I've forgotten the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what's it called again? Is it something about flying? Flying. Learn to fly. Learn to fly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I love that song. <laughs> My favorite would be, and th this is going to sound like a diss now because you don't really, you don't sing lead on it, but the things we never did, I like from the A list. Things we never did. Christian sings well, the whole thing. Christian writes ballads. Like yeah. That's, ballads. A, that's a, such a good tune. Because he's so into his country singers and he's like, um, all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? He's yeah. into the producers and the singers, and he, he writes solid, solid love songs. Really, really good. Me, my least favorite, and I think I might have told you this last time. My least favorite's got to be Scared, which is also on the A list. <laughs> and my reason for that is, I think this, I think I've told you before, but we played a, we played a prank once on. I was in, used to being a boy band myself, and we yeah. played a prank on a manager's daughter. Everyone had gone away and she was in the house on her own. And me and another guy that was in the band called up, called up the house phone and played the intro to that, which is, I think it's Christian saying, what's your favourite scary movie? Yeah, yes. We played that down the phone. As a joke, yeah. she freaked out. <laughs> Apparently there was a car outside the house that was just sitting there. So she thought it was whoever that was calling. <laughs> she freaked out. The manager found out it was us. And um, 
wanted us to own up to it. And I went and I owned up to it. The other guy that did it didn't. And he ended up getting kicked out the band. Really? Yeah. He got kicked out for it because it was the manager of the band. It was a daughter. Oh, and I was like, it was a joke. And it was a bad joke, but it was a joke. Didn't realize he was going to freak out. Just Christian. What a knobhead. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that, that was the point I was trying to make. It was Christian's fault, really. Obviously, you know, if he never would have done that, I wouldn't have called. <laughs> so, <laughs> Christian's not even to defend himself. No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick with the food theme. Yeah. Would Would you rather be able to eat anything you want all the time, or, but you can't eat your favorite food? Or only be able to eat your favourite food forever, whatever that oh, may be. The first one, every, every, anything I want you all the time. Yeah. Except yeah. for your favourite food. Except for my favourite food. Okay, fair enough. You'd probably get sick of your favourite food when you're after a while. My is curry. <laughs> and I, I've done that before where I've like gone on tour or something, or the girls have gone away to down south or something, and I'm like, right, curry and nice, do it. <laughs> And like the third night in, I'm like, no more curry. No. <laughs> but there's a plethora of other stuff you can have everywhere. You can have anything. That's true. Yeah, that is true, yeah. I think that was an easy one to answer, actually. That, that was. was. Yeah. Too easy. Um, okay, so superhero power. If you'd have any power, <laughs> any superhero, what would it be? It's got to be invisible, doesn't it? Oh, see, that doesn't work because I was going to put a stipulation on it and the stipulation is... Actually, it does kind of still work. The stipulation is <laughs> if, you want to, if you want to be invisible, you have to take off all your clothes first. You've got to be naked in order for it to work. That would work. No, that's an easy one. Hang on one. a minute. Hang on. You've got to be... They have to be naked and it could wear off at any moment. I have no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> No problem with that whatsoever. I'd definitely being invisible would be awesome. Because what would you do? Yeah, why? I've got to ask why. <laughs> That's true. You could you know what the date, do what you want. Yeah. I had to ask why no, because obviously. Okay, an actual power, power, like a power. Um, what well, any that has to be something that someone already has. Well, just an, abil an ability, I suppose. So t Invisibles works, but the only thing with being invisible is it has perverted overtones. That's the only thing. And I'm not suggesting That's you would exactly go into a woman's locker room. I am choosing another one. Because people would think I'm perverted. <laughs> yeah. um, um, well, you know, flying, flying. That's what I would choose. Flying, like, you get so much out of flying. You can get places really quick. You can yeah. see the world from where you can't even see it from. You can get to places no one's ever been before. But remember, you're naked, so you've got to land near at least a clothes shop. But no, this is a different <laughs> superpower. I'm not invisible and flying around. I'm just no. You have to be naked in order to fly. You, your clothes, <laughs> you, the clothes have to come off. That's the stipulation do you, here. Do you have a good point? I love how you added things to this. That would be awkward, though, wouldn't it? Flying, if you were flying naked, things would flap around. You have a little whistle off the end of it. Excellent. Off the eye. Just catch these in the eye. <laughs> Cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would make it. Like, yeah. like they need boom. to make the movie now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, where's Joe Frisquale? <laughs> right. If you could choose to cover a song from any band or artist, what would it be? With A1. With A1. Um, God. I don't know. We've kind of, we've only done a few covers and we covered like awesome songs. Only about four or five, I think. I think it has to be a Beatles song. Oh, I don't want to have Beatles. It's hard to do Beatles, man. Do you've Beatles? done Beatles with you A1, do Beatles. You? You've Yeah, done yeah. You've done your like, medley. As they did it, we did it. If you did something, it'd have to be different too. Yeah. Probably a Bob Dylan song, because you can do them, and people know you always do them differently. Yeah. And you just jazz it up a little bit. Yeah. Really. Don't know what song. Fair enough. No idea. Give the end song. <laughs> Love him. Or maybe okay. like Joni Mitchell. 
something like that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fair enough. What's that song that Joni Mitchell did? Um, Yellow Taxi, is it? Coyote, the Coyote. I don't, I don't know that one. one. I'll probably know it if I heard it. Yeah, it's amazing. Definitely. We'll have to Google it after this. So, yeah, well, I won't Google it. I'll just wait. I'll wait and I'll eat it fresh when A1 do it. Okay, <laughs> so it'll Tell be like a name. new song for me then. Um, okay, Celeb Crush. What? Who's your... Oh, Celeb Crush. Who's your Celeb Crush. Celeb crush. Oh, Salma Hayek. Salma Hayek. All day, every day. <laughs> Reminds me of that song by O-Town. Liquid Dreams, because she gets mentioned in it. What are you going to say should be in the video? Another one, which is even more old school than before I was in A1, and before I knew who she was, Jenny Agatha. Who's that? I don't know, I don't even know who that is. Who? <laughs> I am older than you. But do you, have you seen An American Werewolf in London? I've heard, I've heard of it. I've no, not seen it, have. though. Um, the, nurse Jenny, in that, the nurse in that. Jenny Agatha, American Werewolf in London. Jenny Agar. Okay. You know, she's Googling it now, look. I am. <laughs> she's a bit of an older lady. She's very much an older lady. <laughs> Let me just, for the purpose of the camera, I'll, I'll hold just, it up. Yeah, I'll just spell that. I don't even know how to spell it. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, Paul. She's yeah, a little bit of a That's a weird crush. <laughs> Not when she's Not now. Not <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> let me let me see if I can do better. But Jenny Agar, American Wolf in London, Shazam. There she is. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> go on, Kel. What's your next question? So it's, it's your go. Is it my go? No, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. Celeb, <laughs> celeb crush. Celeb it's crush. Yeah. Hey, now it's on to you. No, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Well, it kind of is a spin off of that one. Which on, celebrity? This is my last question, actually. Which celebrity annoys you? I was going to say hate, but hate a strong word. So, which celebrity that when you turn the telly on, they come on, you have to turn it off because you I can't deal with them. So I can't say any celebrity. I don't watch telly because they annoy me. So, uh, just everyone. <laughs> Most of them, yeah, most of them, because I know well, I don't know them, but it just I just look at them and I think, <laughs> no, I'm not my kind of person. I don't really hang out with celebrities, you know what I mean? Because nine out of ten times you, they're disappointing. So <laughs> I say ninety percent of them I don't know their names. They're just annoying. <laughs> I don't know who mine is. There must be someone. Yeah, who annoys me, Cal? Who annoys me, celebrity wise? Donald Trump. Yeah, I don't know, but he's a he's a oh. given, though, isn't he? Everyone dislikes <laughs> him. Target. <laughs> um, I can't think who you dislike. Yeah, that is a hard question. That's what but he can't dislike people. He, he interviews people. <laughs> he has to be a man. Yeah, that's the thing. I'll I'll end up picking someone, and you might get them on. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> So have you got? Have you, you haven't, have I've you got one last question? one. Okay, yeah, go on I, then. I did have a little bit of a mind blank then, so that's why I threw it back to you. That's why right. She write them down. <laughs> she did um, her phone, but she went off her phone. Look at Jenny Agar. That's what is he put me. <laughs> yeah. That was. I blame Paul. He put me on. <laughs> I've done it before. It's fine. Right. Would you not be able to speak, or every time you speak, um, you have to speak the truth? In that given any situation, it's very rare I don't speak the truth, so I just just be like myself. Unless sometimes I don't speak the truth. This is a little white lie, but you're gonna have to. It you're gonna have to like do. brutal. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, brutal to say. But um, I'd, I'd pick the yeah, tell the truth. Yeah, yeah you still word it nicely, but you still tell the truth. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you have to brutally tell the truth, I'd just be <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the easier one. <laughs> Listen, love, you're ugly. See? Can't do that. <laughs> but I you could do one. that and have your superpower so that you could tell them they're ugly and then fly away. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, just, you're ugly. <laughs> Take your clothes off and off you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Paul, for coming on. We just wanted to have, have some fun with you and ask you some funny questions, and it's been an absolute riot. So, um, yeah, so no, like, what, what's next? And like, in the pl- have you got any plans to actually go and work on the album, or are you just waiting to hear from the other guys? Uh, no, we've got some time now. Um, we've got, a, I think, we've got about three more gigs that are actually booked in this year. And then oh, it's going to be a matter of, matter of where we're going to spend time together. We have to hold up together for a week, two weeks somewhere. It'll probably be in in Norway because Ben's obviously got a new new member to his clan. He's got a little baby daughter now. Yeah. And we'll have to go over there maybe a week at a time, little week increments, and just keep just doing it and doing it and doing it and just getting yeah. everything ready. But we'll keep Excellent. it more focused as usual. And don't forget to take your phone and document it for the vlog. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do that. Next thing, I'm going to try and do a full day and just try and get as much as I can in there. Yeah, wonderful. Well, thank you oh, very it's much, Paul. Paul it's been, yeah, yeah, it's been lovely talking to you again, and uh, we'll have to have you on again when the album comes out. It'd be lovely to talk to you again then. Definitely, let's definitely do that. Pleasure speaking both of you too. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Cheers, Paul. Paul. See you later, Take guys. It easy, man. Yeah.